Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. Welcome back to Show the World Your Garden, Hawaii edition. We are on the island of Oahu now, headed out to see our friends, Ishel and Moku, who want to start their very first vegetable garden. Now they live on an amazing property with deep Hawaiian roots and a special, special inspiration as to why they want to start gardening. Now they're busy young professionals and don't have a lot of time to keep a garden up. So we've got to keep it simple and automate where we can so they can maintain their garden. Now we're partnering with Smart Pots for this episode. We're bringing along some garden goodies yes. and we're going to help them establish their very first garden. This is going to be fun. Hi, Shell and Moku. Hi. Great to see you guys. You too. Thanks nice so much for coming you. out. Oh man, thanks for having us. What an amazing property you guys have here. Thank I'm you. so excited to be here and help you guys get your garden going. Thank so you. first off, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you want to start a garden. Well, I'm originally from California, but I've lived here for about eight years and with my wonderful partner, Moku. And we want to start a garden for so many reasons. We've been talking about it for a really long time. We want to grow our own vegetables. We want to live healthier lives. Um, I have also dealt a lot with mental health uh, issues throughout my life. And I know that a healthier lifestyle helps with that, but also having a task to do outside in nature helps with that as well. And I just want to be able to live off the land and things like that. And recently we had a, a family change that really motivated us to actually get this going. Wow. Well, Moki, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so uh, my tutu kane, which means grandfather in Hawaiian, he passed recently, a couple of months ago. Uh, everything that you guys see around us, he built pretty much all by himself. You know, family helped do all that, but this was all his and this was his dream and he loved being outside. The one thing he couldn't get off the ground was a garden. Uh, so we're just really excited that we can kind of sort of do that for him now uh, and, and kind of help his dream come true through us. And even though he's not here physically, we feel like the garden uh, will be a way that we can connect with him. Well, Moku, I'm very sorry to hear about your grandfather, but we'll be able to keep his memory alive and you guys will be taking him with you throughout the garden. And you're going to love those fresh vegetables. and I know he's going to be very, very proud of you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We're so excited. That area that you know we're gonna have it set up was actually one of the last things he did before he passed was to start getting ready, and he was just kind of like, "All right, this is gonna be your project," and then we never did it. So we're excited to that do that. That is really cool. Well, Ishal and Moku, show the world your future garden. Let's go check it out. Yeah. This is the space that Tutu Kane laid out for us. Oh, perfect. How awesome to be able to grow in the same exact space. Mm -hmm. So what vegetables do you want to grow? Uh, we love tomatoes, we love bell peppers, cilantro, greens. We use it a lot in smoothies and we use vegetables a lot in all of our cooking. And it's so expensive in Hawaii sometimes oh, yeah. with the shipping. So we're really looking forward to being able to just come outside and get some veggies. Perfect. You're going to love picking and eating your own food. Now tell me a little bit about your schedule. Like how much time do you have each week to devote to a garden? We don't even know. That's how <laughs> brand new we are. We're wanting to make sure that we make the time because it not only affects us, but we feel like it affects Tutukane as well. And we just want to, you know, keep his spirit alive also. Uh, but we're both very busy actors. If you want to talk a little bit oh, about cool. that. Oh, cool. Yeah, we are lucky enough to have a pretty burgeoning film and television industry here in Hawaii. Uh, so we, we, we do that. We also perform in local theaters around the island. Uh, so our schedules are quite full with, you know, doing shows, doing TV shows, commercials. We are lucky enough to get to do so much of that here in Hawaii. So. We're very, very hopeful that we can find the time. To no worries. I'm going to teach you how to grow, harvest, eat your own veggies. We're going to do it simple and you are going to have a ton of fun. It's going to be an easy garden to maintain. I've got the perfect thing for you guys to get your garden going quick, simple. What this is, is a four by four Smart Pots urban raised bed. Pretty cool. So instead of digging everything out here or building a raised bed, we'll lay this out on the ground, pop it up, install some PVC around the edges to so it will stand up and we're going to plant our garden in that. So we just fold it out like this? Yep, you just unfold it and we'll kind of lay it out here oh, and envision it. where it's going to grow. <laughs> where it's going to go. Yeah, it is pretty big, huh? You'll be to grow all your tomatoes and bell peppers in it. Mm -hmm. 
Five, six, seven, eight. All right, you guys, great job. What are your thoughts so far? I love this. It's actually made it easier for me to visualize what it's going to look like. I was a little nervous this morning about like feeling overwhelmed or it seeming like a daunting task. But seeing like, okay, this is my area for gardening, it's simple and I understand better now what we're going to do. Perfect. Definitely want to keep it simple. You're going to get hooked and you're going to expand later, but we'll start with this. Moku, how about you? Uh, I thought it was a lot of fun putting the, the box together. It was fun and simple and it's so close to the house too that if we want to come get something it's right out here. So it's, it's it was simpler than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing is too is that because we're growing in an enclosed area you're not going to have to deal with weeds because I know things do grow like crazy here. Mm -hmm. Weeds grow like crazy so it'll all be contained. Weeding will be virtually eliminated. Next step now that we've got the bed built is to fill the bed. Now soil can be so expensive. So what I do to really cut down costs, keep things inexpensive, is to fill the bottom half or so with any kind of organic matter you can find around your yard. You guys have a ton of it here. Leaves, sticks, this whole big huge pile of palm fronds trimmed just from your property. So let's grab some of these and throw them in the bottom of the bed. It's gonna be fun. This thing is really starting to take shape here. Yeah. You might have to like break them in half just to uh, get them in there. The cool thing about gardening too, it's a great workout. <laughs> I feel like we're almost there. Yeah, it's getting there. Let's get some soil in your bed, all right? So what I'm gonna have you do first is grab a bag of soil. You can dump it in over here on this side. Okay. And what we're gonna do with the soil, just so you guys know, is we're gonna pre-moisten it. Okay. So we're gonna throw some soil in there throw a hose on it and then mix the soil, mix the water into the soil and that way the plants have all the moisture they need to really start taking up that moisture right from the start. <laughs> it's always fun getting these heavy bags of soil yeah, in. You gotta yeah, manhandle go. them, right? There you go, perfect. Wonderful. Yeah. And the organic matter is gonna help um, obviously not use so much soil, but also break down over time and add good organic matter to your soil, which helps your soil be more fertile. So let's grab one more bag and I'm gonna grab the hose. I'll show you guys how the pre-moistening works here. Don't you guys just love the smell of that soil? I do I actually. love it. So now we're gonna mix it. So I'll show you guys what to do and then I'm gonna have you do it. So Ishelle, if you could go ahead and hold the hose. You can do this, you got this, all right? So just spray a bunch of water on that soil there. And I'm gonna grab a shovel. Really give it some juice there. There you go, don't okay. be nervous. And then I'm gonna just start turning the soil over as you're spraying it. We'll get that soil good and wet. Okay, Moku, here you go. Thank you. So, yep. Shell, I would let him mix for just a little bit. Okay. We're trying to eliminate any of those dry pockets in there. So then how once, wet is too wet? That's a really good question. So I always say, get your soil as moist as crumbly brownie mix. So. If you have a lot of water running out, which this one doesn't yet, it's a little bit, you want just a few drops coming out. Okay. And you want it to look like crumbly brownie mix nice. when it's nice and moist. Well, so I sure know what crumbly brownie mix <laughs> feels like. So. Oh yeah, it's good stuff, right? So now, since it's dry, I would do more. Exactly. There you go, get those dry pockets. The biggest part of, uh, the thing that takes the most time is the prep work in gardening. Mm -hmm. Once you get the plants in, it's almost the easy part. So this part is really important to do. To do right, and it'll give your garden a much better chance of success. And it's like a partner activity. Yeah, exactly. This, this part. So how often like, do I have to redo this process, or how often do I have to do this part? That's a good question, because this is a lot of work. <laughs> but no, you can replant in the soil time after time. You don't have to get rid of your old soil. It will settle down over time, and you'll just add a few more inches of fresh soil and fresh nutrients to the top. Then you can grow oh. your new crop of vegetables in it. So this is it then. This is it. Cool. Here we go, another bag in. Bring it in. All right, last bag. <laughs> we got our workout today. Yeah, we did. Nice. Taking shape here. That's great. <laughs> I think it looks like we're done. How can I be sure? Okay, so grab a handful of that soil. Good question. Okay. 
give it a good squeeze there. The main thing is that water's not running out of it, right? Yeah. And it kind of holds together and it looks like crumbly brownie mix. It is good to go. Now, the next step here is we're going to add in some organic fertilizer because we're growing organic here. The soil already does have some nutrients in it, but I like to add a little bit of extra so the plants get off to a really good start. So this is just a granular fertilizer. I'll show you what to do here. You can each grab a handful. And this has a good amount of nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, which are the nutrients that plants need. So we're just going to kind of sprinkle it over the top of the bed here. And this is what's called a time-release fertilizer. So it will release slowly into the soil over time. So it will feed your vegetables over the next two to three months. So then you can just kind of get in here with your hands and mix another, it in. Another handful each. Yeah, another okay. handful each. Then you can kind of just mix it in like this. Now you guys mentioned you don't have a lot of time. Now this right here, installing drip irrigation, is the answer to that. And Ishal, you mentioned you were going to be challenged a little bit by the watering issues. Mm -hmm. So this will definitely help you with that too. Okay. So what we have here is called drip irrigation. And we've got um, a water source coming in here through the garden hose. A timer, which is totally going to be a lifesaver. Save you time, save you money. Um, basically just give you your time back so you can enjoy your garden rather than having to worry about water all the time. And we're going to take this um, hose here, is actually our drip hose. We're going to take that right into the garden and then put some a smaller hose with drip emitters which we're going to wind through the garden which will water your plants. So we shall, I'm going to have you go ahead and connect this little barb connector it's called to the drip emitter line. Okay, stick that in there and kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit for a nice tight fit. Fit there. there we go. And I'm going to poke a hole here in our line and we're going to put that little connector right in the hole. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you do the same thing as you shall, you kind of wiggle it back and forth until you hear that pop. Okay, now what we're going to do is kind of snake this uh, drip emitter line throughout the garden bed. Okay. So you can just kind of unwind it there. I like to put one a few inches from the edge and I've got whole videos on how to install drip irrigation. So you always go back and watch that later for review. Okay. And then put your little staples here. These are called landscape staples, about six inches or so apart. Go all the way to the end. Then Mocha, you can kind of uh, help her out there on the end. And then you can wind the cord about a good, maybe six inches or so apart. It doesn't have to be exact. The whole point is to de-stress, right? Yeah, which I'm <laughs> feeling right now. It's going to save you so much time, and especially with your schedules. You know, working odd hours, working late, getting up early, you might forget to water or not have time to water. So this is the solution. Now for the fun part, we can get your vegetables planted in the garden. Now we are going to start with some plant starts or transplants that I picked up at the garden center for you guys. The reason why we're doing that is because it's a little bit late in the year to start everything from seed. Mm. Plus I want to keep it simple and get you guys growing and get you hooked right off the bat. And what we're going to do is kind of lay out the plants first and see how they look. Then we'll get them planted. So first off, you want to always put your taller plants in the back. So in this case, that would be the tomatoes. So put your taller ones in the back so they don't shade out the plants in the front. So first off here, we're going to get you a couple tomatoes growing because I know you said you really want to grow tomatoes. So we've got two different kinds. This is called a the Sweet 100. This is a really nice cherry tomato. You're going to love it, a smaller size. Okay. This is a red slicing tomato called a Celebrity. So I'll have you grab that Moku. And you want to plant tomatoes a couple feet apart. They need the space to grow. So we're going to put one in each corner. So we shall just set yours down here. Moku, just set yours down here. Moku, I'm going to have you grab this plant here. That's a cucumber. Cucumbers. These are all warm weather vegetables, which will grow great in Hawaii. I'm going to put that one kind of a little bit forward right there in the corner. This is a taller plant too. Be perfect for the back. You've got to get your peppers in, right? So here we have our pepper plants. These are a little bit shorter of a plant, so we're going to put them towards the front. This is called a California Wonder, which is one of my absolute favorite bell peppers. Nice and big and red. Put that back here just a little bit there, Ishal. Actually, you can put it kind of in the middle. Perfect. And then the next one, i got a hot one for you, Moku. This is a sriracha. You like Ooh, sriracha? Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. So you should be able to make some salsa out of this garden. Set that one right there. 
And then in the front, we also need some cilantro. I know you like cilantro, we shall, yes. right? And some chives, because those grow really, go really nice in salsa. So it's kind of like a little mini salsa garden here. That's perfect One cilantro. for us. You love, like salsa? Oh, all, perfect. We eat it all the time. So actually, we're going to put those right in the middle here. And then we've got some chives to stick on the end. These are garlic perfect. chives and onion chives, which are like a small little type of onion onion flavor. So you can put those on the I corners. Oh, good. I'm glad you're familiar with those. We've got a couple of little plants here we'll try and stick in. Thai basil. I don't know if you're familiar with that at all, but it's a really beautiful type of basil right there. One more cilantro. Michelle, that could probably squeeze in the middle front there. Let's dig some holes and get these babies planted. Always, I'll do the first one for you guys. So you can kind of watch and learn and then I'll let you do the rest of them, but it's going to come together so fast. So first what I'm going to do is kind of dig my hole. And I just like to get in here with my hands. You guys can use your shovels if you want. Now tomatoes like to be planted really deep because these tomatoes have little tiny hairs on the stem. I don't know mm. if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Those actually will send out roots once they touch the soil. It'll be a nice sturdy plant. So I'm going to plant my tomato as deep as I can here. Now one thing too that's great about this uh, Smart Pots um, raised bed is the fabric is not only very durable, but it's aerated. So it breathes really well. So all the roots get a good amount of oxygen. When you have more roots, you're going to have a lot more tomatoes, a lot more fruit on your plants. So just going to squeeze this little container here, kind of grasp the stem in between my fingers, turn it over, it pops right out. And you can see all those beautiful roots on that plant there already. Just stick it down here in the hole. And then, so all these roots are going to grow out when they touch the soil. I'm just going to fill it in here. Okay, got your first tomato planted. Yay! Yay. So we'll try ours now. Go for it. You got this. Okay, so we want to get as deep as we can. So little, little hairs. You got it. Okay. I actually like using my hands. Yeah. I do too. It feels good. You guys are learning quick. Let me cover it back up. Beautiful. The other plants don't have to go as deep. You could just dig the hole, plant them at soil level, and you are good to go. Got it. So we're just duplicating what this looks like. Basically. Exactly. You guys are gardeners now. You're planting your first garden. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. All right, go for it. Oh, that's just the, uh, it's called perlite. It's a thing that helps the soil retain moisture. It's a special ingredient, yeah. So they add it to the soil. Can you smell it? I, yeah, I could smell it. The cilantro. Oh, man, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's a great scent. You got your first garden. What do you think? I'm so excited. I can't believe we did this. Yeah, it was easy. It was actually pretty easy and it didn't take long at all. And I just had a lot of fun and it already looks so beautiful. I can't wait for everything to start growing. You are going to have so much fun picking your first veggies. Just you wait. I have a feeling you're going to be hooked. <laughs> now, one last thing we need to, do need to add is some supports for your tall plants, like your tomatoes, cucumbers, and some for your peppers too. So if you don't add support in, they're going to flop over. They won't be near as healthy or grow as many vegetables. So let's go grab our supports. Cool. So what we're going to do is start with a back row. So I'm going to show you guys the first one. Then you'll do the ones after that. These are just tomato cages you can pick up at the garden center. Typically, I like taller types of cages for tomatoes. But we're working with what we got right now, and we can add to it later. So we're just going to stick it in the soil as far down as we can get it here in this little garden bed. And that way, our tomato will grow up through the support and the tomatoes will kind of flop over, mm -hmm. but the plant won't flop over, so it'll be perfect. Hold this up out of the way. You can put those little Oops. prongs in the soil there, perfect. You might have to tie your cucumber up just a little bit as it grows, and then Moku will have you do the perfect. same. 
for the tomato plant. Okay, we're gonna put two also over the pepper plants. Normally I would do a little bit shorter supports for peppers, but these will work great. And I'm sure here in Hawaii, things will grow like crazy, so you never know, you could have yeah. some super tall peppers. So yep, go ahead and put them over there. Peppers have really kind of delicate stems, and when they get loaded down, the stems break, so they really do need this support. Looks great, you guys. Beautiful. Yay, and what's nice is that even if we wanted to you know, get more, we know what to ask for now, because we learned how to do all this. Exactly. So nice. Good. Now, I know you said you enjoy greens. Now, we want to plant some greens here from seed, which they're very easy to grow from seed. So basically, we've got our transplants from the garden center, but growing from seed is so rewarding because you see it grow from start to finish. We're growing it, we're harvesting it, we're eating it. And I have a raised bed kitchen garden seed collection, which I'm going to give you guys to plant with in your new oh, garden. Thank you. Specially designed for raised beds. You guys are basically planting a kitchen garden, which means that it's basic vegetables close to your house. You can pop out, grab things for a meal. So it's a really great way to get started. So we've got a couple seed packets in there we're going to plant today. There's actually 15 seed packets in here, which you can Ooh. plant later as you expand, right? Yeah. So first off, let's go in the front here and we're going to plant the lettuce. Okay. I know how much you love your salads, Michelle, <laughs> and I can't wait for you to pick your first salad. And I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So for this, you'll need to take your gloves off. It's a lot easier without gloves. Michelle will plant the lettuce and Mocha will have you plant the kale in just a second. You guys like kale? Yes. Every day. Yes. Every, Every day. day in our smoothies. Oh, perfect. You're going to love this. <laughs> okay. So, Ishelle, this is called bronze mignette lettuce. It's a really pretty kind of purple tinged leaf. Mm. Really nice lettuce. Let me just plant a little bit to show you. Okay. And I'll let you do the rest. Sprinkle a little bit in my hand. I'm going to have you hold that. Okay. And then I just take a little pinch between my fingers here. And I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it in the front. They're black seeds, so they're hard to see. Then with lettuce, you don't even have to cover it with soil. It yeah. likes light to germinate, so I'm just going to kind of press it down here. And that's it. Super wow. easy. Yeah. Okay. So you get to do the rest. I go ahead and plant like a little row, sprinkle a little row of seeds all across the front of the garden bed. You'll have your first little salad. Awesome. You don't have to worry about sprinkling too many seeds. They'll just grow and you can thin them out. You'll have that many more for your salad. Okay, Moku. So we're going to fit some kale in along the side here. Now, kale are larger plants, so we're just going to plant a little small area right here. So basically going to do the same thing I just showed Ishelle, but after you're done sprinkling the seeds, you'll cover them very lightly with a little bit of soil. Okay. So go ahead and lay the seeds down, and then we'll tell you what to do at the end there. Perfect. Beautiful. Perfect. And again, don't worry about if you make mistakes. It's no big deal. Things are going to grow no matter what especially here in Hawaii too. <laughs> okay, last step, we're gonna water in your vegetables. So the roots get water, the plants will grow, and you guys are good to go with your garden. So what you wanna do is kinda water at the base of the plant so the water gets down to the roots. Give them a nice little soil drench there. It'll be a little bit of a trial and error with a drip, but basically what you wanna do is to see if your plants need water is you put your finger in the soil Okay. If it feels dry, that means you, you, you need to water, but if it feels wet in there, then your plants are good to go because you don't want to overwater because you can kill your plants by overwatering okay. as much as you can by underwatering. So you just kind of check it and then water as the plants need it. And you just do the finger test right by the plant? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ishelle and Moku, now you have a garden to show the world, and I know your Tutu Kane would be very happy and very proud. So happy for you guys. Thank you, Aunt Kim and Uncle Jerry, for, for coming. You're welcome. And, um, <laughs> You're welcome. We're just, uh, just really excited. And, you know, it's such a special moment for, for us because of Tutukane. But, um, you know, I, as you guys know, because my grandpa loved Hawaii also. So being here and living here has been really special for me. And yes. um, so this is really nice for me as well to have a piece of, of everyone's grandfather here. That's yeah. awesome. And my Tutukane would love seeing this. I'm sure he would be laughing watching us <laughs> put it together. But, uh, you know, he wanted more, and this is a good place to start. And I just hope that he is watching somehow or tending to our garden for mm -hmm. us. But I know he would be thrilled that we started this finally. 
Definitely. I was going to say, he would say, finally. <laughs> <laughs> and I have something else special I want to share with you all because it's going to give you kind of a manual to garden out here. Ooh. So I want to give you a copy of both of my books. I wasn't sure if you already had them or not. But the first one, Organic Gardening for Everyone, will really help you tend and care for your garden, tell you a little bit more about the plants that you have. Awesome. And then this one is called Raised Bed Gardening. It's my new one. Ooh. And if you ever want to build a raised bed, it'll show you all how to do that and also how to just tend and care for your garden in raised beds. Awesome. Thanks again, Smart Pots, for partnering with us on this video. Head over to smartpots.com and get 10% off with the code Cali Kim. Yes, thank you, thank so, you so much, much Smart Pots. Pots. <laughs> this is really <laughs> generous and we we love this and we want to get another one and now we know exactly what to do when we get it so thank you so much for your generosity so excited for you guys and also having a sale this weekend over at calikimgardeninghome.com 20 percent off with the code carrot we get some carrots planted too for you and you're also going to get a free carrot seed collection with your order so thanks so much for watching everyone we'll see you on the, yeah, next, the next video, video.